Well, digital cameras continue to get more capable, and storage prices are dropping through the floor. So now instead of taking just one or two pictures of a vacation spot, what if you took hundreds? And once you have those, what do you do with hundreds of pictures? Well, I'm here with Joshua Edwards, who's the product manager for a product called Photosynth at Microsoft Live Labs. And Photosynth really gives us an answer to just that question. Joshua, let's take a look at your product. Absolutely. So Photosynth re represents an entirely new use of photography. Uh, we think of it as an entirely new uh, creative medium. And what we've done is we've basically created a technology that allows us to take our images that we usually experience in a chronological or alphabetical sense today on our hard drives and bring them into our computers where we can now, using computer vision algorithms, display them in, uh, in a spatial sense. So here we are at the National Archives in Washington, D.C. And each of these white boxes you see is a separate image that's been taken. And we respect the underlying, um, you know, the, the, the originality of each image. So we haven't changed anything. There's no chromatography differences. There's no lighting unification that's happened like you see with a lot of uh, panoramic software. But we've also created the ability to not only you know, explore the environment, but also to, to move around it in a three-dimensional sense. So whether I want to turn around, I want to move towards something, I want to move back away from something, or if, even if I want to look at, at a specific item here. So here we have, you know, a, a picture of the, um, the Constitution that I shot through some glass here. And, you know, you can get a sense of the document itself and, and be able to, to, to move around. But I've also inclu included here the, a 50 megapixel scan that the National Archives pr provided us. And even over this internet connection, I can zoom in here and you can get a sense of, you know, f all 50 megapixels. You know, you've, you've got a gr high end camera today. You should be able to really take advantage of the resolution that you have. And not only in the sense of a, of a scan, but certainly even in the sense of, you know, an image that's been contributed. In this case, I've got uh, some pictures here of uh, this mural that sits, uh, of, uh, sits over, the, uh, over the one wall here of the framers of the, of the Doc Declaration of Independence. And I can still zoom in here, you know, from just the pictures that I took with a 5D. But at the same time, I can step back and I can actually use uh, and take a look at something that's been color corrected. And this is flattened, but it still reg registers right in there with the images that are um, that are running again, uh, again over uh, over an internet connection. So we've got, you know, the ability here not only to move around, to explore, but to experience that environment in a way that it, is if you're really there. In addition to that, we've also given you the ability to do a lot of more, a lot of other things. So here, you know, you can see the ability to add comments to to a, a synth, for example, to add a description, tagging. We also give you the ability to geotag. So, you know, so few images out there on the internet today are have been tagged with metadata or with you know a location. And what we've done in one click here is I've tagged 163 images with the location and everything else about them. So here we are in Washington D.C. You know. At the same time, I can also come in here and share this with somebody. So, for example, this I, want, I could take somebody into the exact same zoom level, the exact same point in the, uh, in the environment that I wanted to share, as well as I can take this and I can embed it in my own web page. So if I have a blog, if I've gone on vacation somewhere, I can now bring those images, put them up there, talk about where I've been, and so forth. And last but not least, uh, we, you know, we allow you to put any a variety of copyright or Creative Commons information in here, so you can, again, direct exactly how you want your pictures to be seen, perceived, and, and, and perhaps reused if you so allow. Um, the technology is available for free today up on photosynth.com. Uh, anybody can go up, uh, download. It's about an 8 megabyte download. Um, it runs uh, in Firefox and Internet Explorer today on the PC, and we are very hopeful to have Mac support here in the near future. One of my favorites is this gentleman who actually uh, went and, and strapped cameras on the side of his hang glider, and uh, you can actually follow him as he's hang gliding through Yosemite Valley, and you can also get a sense of the three-dimensional environment just from the pictures that he's uh, been taking from the wings of his, uh, of his hang glider. And so, you know, from the, just your pictures, we're creating your three-dimensional environments. And so we're pretty, pretty excited about some of the technologies that uh, are some of the uses of this technology. And we, you know, hope that uh, people will find entirely new things that will get them excited about photography. That's neat. And like you said before, you can uh, have a um, specific link that would take someone to exactly that zoom. But when the person connects to the site, they're seeing that particular zoomed image, but then they can back out and explore the whole environment themselves. Absolutely. Yeah, you can, you can see what I see. I mean, that's one of the, power, the, the powerful things about photography has always been putting someone else in your shoes. In this sense, you can take them exactly to the point or to the detail in the image that you think is, is relevant to, uh, to share with them. This is something pretty unique. Um, and our uh, readers will be able to see, um, we took uh, some shots around the Microsoft booth and uh, made our own synth out of them. 
Uh, there'll be a link at the bottom of this video somewhere for uh, people to be able to access that to see for themselves. Well, there you have it, a really new way of looking at your pictures. Photosynth from Microsoft Live Labs, coming free to a browser near you, and available right now. Thanks, Joshua. Thank you.